Today I talked about the six areas of investment in augmented reality. Uh, augmented reality is the blurring between the digital and the physical. And there are many problems and challenges that need to be solved both on the hardware and software side in order for us to really uh, move from the 2D wave of computing, which we're currently in, to the 3D wave of, com of computing, including AR and VR. You know what, I was always interested in technology. Like my father, um, he brought home a Tandy. When Tandy was new, he brought home the first Nintendo. So I thought, um, you know, hey, uh, my passion for technology really came from my childhood. After going through musical theater college and English Lit, I kind of was searching for something to do, to be quite honest. And I made friends with somebody um, at a consulting gig that I had and she introduced me to my very first startup that I worked with and they did ringtones and images here in Toronto and that taste of working with a startup that was working with a new medium a new type of technology had a lasting impression on me and uh, ever since then I've been working in emerging technologies. I can't help but to be extremely passionate about the things that I'm doing. And so for me, I think uh, the reason why people love hearing me talk or want to talk with me about the technologies that I'm involved with is because I really do feel so passionate about them. Uh, so it is the emotion that drives that interest. And with me being excited and being passionate about augmented reality or wearable technology, it kind of sparks something inside the person that's listening. And they start to become a little bit more curious about those technologies and then you know things get passed forward and so for me it's wholly essential to be emotionally invested to be passionate about what you're doing in general um, but especially for me the technologies that I'm dealing with on a regular basis. This year I'm really looking forward to seeing what is going to be happening with mobile augmented reality and so back in 2009 I was working in a publishing company in Canada rolling out augmented reality ads in magazines with one of the very first iPhones and um, that didn't really go over very well because people didn't know what to do with their phone let alone what to do with a phone with a magazine ad to see things happen. But now you know fast forward to 2018 it's been over 10 years that we've been holding that phone in our hands and I think people are ready to start to not just look at the phone but look through the phone and we have these platforms that launched in 2017 to give developers the ability to create really cool augmented reality experiences with the smartphone you have in your hand so I'm hoping in 2018 we start to see consumers and enterprises use their phone in ways they never thought were possible. I think I want to be known as that crazy guy filled with passion that uh, obviously loves what he does because I do, that is here to help and that is here to help the industry grow, that is genuinely wanting startups to succeed, technologies to happen, innovation to thrive. That would be an awesome legacy.